Hey folks, Joyce here, Certified Health and Nutrition Coach. Thanks so much for stopping by. Happy Whole Grains and Hispanic Heritage Month or Latinx Heritage Month. If you're curious about these two names, definitely check out the article by NPR. It's super great explainer. So I put the link in the article in the description below. So to celebrate both, we're going to learn how to cook amaranth or amaranto two ways today. And I've never cooked amaranth before. So please go easy on me. And now let's go ahead and take a closer look at amaranth. Amaranth is a gluten-free seed. That's a bonus, right? And it's classified as a whole grain. So it's a pseudo cereal. According to the Whole Grains Council, its prevalence was found mostly in the Aztec Empire. It was domesticated about 6,000 years ago. Super ancient. It's a very special ingredient and the plant has bright, deep pink flowers that contain the seeds and it's very hardy and can grow to nine feet tall and its leaves are also edible. All right, let's start popping. You'll need a wide bottom pan, a lid, some oven mitts, a sifter or a sieve that is actually fine meshed with a bowl, a measuring tablespoon, and a wooden spoon. I have my setup here with my pan on the stove, heating for about five minutes on medium heat, and I have my sieve and my bowl to catch the popped kernels, okay? So we're going to start with adding one tablespoon at a time to the pan and make sure to distribute it evenly. And oh, they are popping! Oh my God. They look like tiny popcorn! And I have my wooden spoon. Okay, and you just wanna stir it around and use the cover to keep as many of these kernels into the pan. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. As you can tell, it takes no time for them to start popping. And when the popping starts to kind of slow down, that means it's about done and you don't want to keep it on the stove for too long, otherwise the leftover kernels will burn. And so we'll take our oven mitts and turn the fire off just a little bit. And then we'll shake this out. And then we're going to just pour it in to the sieve right there. And we'll keep going. Okay, so let's put it back on medium. So this was about three batches and I just wanted to show you guys what happens when you sift it. And this trick I got from Krishna's Cuisine. Here is our popped amaranth and I just want to show you guys that some of them didn't pop all the way but they are partially popped and that's why they didn't go through the sieve unlike the ones here in the box. This is the main ingredient for the Mexican sweet or snack called Alegria. And the word for alegria is joy. And as you can tell, I've been blessed with so much joy in the kitchen from these little kernels. Other applications for this beautiful popped amaranth is making ladu. Um, so that is an Indian sweet treat shaped into a ball. And you can also top these off on soups, salads, and maybe some dessert as well. Just have a little taste test here. Mmm, it tastes like, it tastes like popcorn. Is that fair to say? Very nutty. Oh, it tastes so good. Just a quick promo, if you like what you're seeing so far, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it to stay updated on future videos as soon as they come out. Also connect with me on Instagram and Facebook at Kala Health and Wellness. And if you're curious about a free 20 minute consult, email me at jm at kalahealthandwellness.com. Let's suma suma. What you're gonna need to cook this amaranth is a small pot with a tight fitting lid. So this one is about five and a quarter inch in diameter, a small spatula. And since you're trying a new grain, my tip for you guys is to start small. So I have a half a cup of amaranth here and a cup of water. And the ratio for amaranth for cooking is one part dry, two parts liquid. All right, y'all, like I said, this is my first time. So I would have worked on this one first. I'm cooking this in a pot rather than the popping first. Just put in your water and your amaranth and then turn your heat on to medium high so that it'll boil. Let's go ahead and stir it up just a little bit. 
All right, so it looks like it takes about five to seven minutes for the mixture to come to a boil. Go ahead and stir it up here. And then we're gonna cover it and lower the heat down to medium low and set the timer for about 15 minutes. Just wanna share a cooking tip for you guys. So a low simmer looks like this, small bubbles at a slow pace. All right, that's our timer. It definitely is time for us to remove it from the fire and just set it aside for about 10 minutes. All right, that's our timer, 10 minutes. And we're gonna pop it open and here we go. This is what our amaranth looks like. It's definitely polenta-like in texture. And um, if you guys can see the little kernels, how they look like. Mm, interesting texture. Um, it kind of reminds me of those like orange eggs uh, found around the sushi roll. But it's very neutral and I think this could go really well with a dessert or um, some breakfast bowls um, and maybe even um, some um, vegetable patties. I had some extra time to play around with this amaranth and it is very sticky to touch. And it kind of reminds me also of Laotian sticky rice. So this is a really great alternative um, if you wanted to eat this with some curry uh, because this has a lot of fiber and protein. Coach confession here, I actually called six stores to find amaranth. So it's a very special ingredient. Special shout out to Anne's Health Food Center and Market for having it on their shelves. So I can make this video just in time for Whole Grains Month and Hispanic slash Latinx Heritage Month. Now that you know how to cook amaranth two ways, maybe save it for something special or set a little intention before you start your meal to make it more meaningful. Let me know what you end up doing in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share or hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have, thank y'all so, so much. Stay tuned next week. We're gonna continue on this series, Explore Whole Grains. So check out that playlist. And until then, remember, you deserve to be happy and healthy.